Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty speaking, Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Law Number 31 of 2022. The Decree Law amends some provisions of Decree Law Number 6 of 1991 on the establishment of a pension fund for Bahraini and non-Bahraini officers and personnel at the Bahrain Defense Force and Public Security Force. It also amends some provisions of Decree Law Number 47 of 2010 on the management and competencies of the pension fund for for Bahraini and non-Bahraini officers and personnel at the Bahrain Defense Force and Public Security Force established as per Decree Law No. 6 of 1991. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree No. 40 of 2022 ratifying the agreement concluded between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Egypt on the establishment of a Bahraini-Egyptian Governmental Committee for Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronized the graduation ceremony of the Tafa'ul Center for Special Education. His Highness affirmed his support for efforts aimed at enabling people with determination to achieve their aspirations and become effective members of their society and nation. He highlighted the aspects of social, health and educational care provided for people with special needs under the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan al naimi the Minister of Works, Ibrahim al hawaj the Minister of Social Development, Osama al Asfur, the Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, the President of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed bin Zayed al Jalahma, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Tafa'ul Center for Special Education, Salah Ibrahim al Fadala, officials, dignitaries, guests, parents, and graduates. His Highness congratulated the graduates and their relatives, noting that students with special needs are all always determined to defy all challenges caused by their disabilities in order to achieve their goals. He also paid tribute to parents for the tremendous efforts they are exerting in order to provide the necessary care for their children, thus giving lessons in dedication, altruism, patience and sacrifice. His Highness also congratulated the Tafal Center for Special Education on the graduation of a new batch of its students, extending thanks to the center's sponsors for their contributions to achieving its noble goals. Goals. Al Fadala delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for patronizing the graduation ceremony. He also reviewed the center's achievements over the past two years and thanked parents for their support. Public and private institutions that support the Tafal Center, former employees and volunteers were honored during this ceremony.
the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the second meeting of the BOC Board of Directors for the current electoral cycle. His Highness praised the efforts of the BOC Board of Directors members, led by Secretary General Faris Al Kohaji, and highlighted the numerous accomplishments made by national teams on the global level. The Board of Directors reviewed the topics on the agenda, and the Secretary the General reviewed the financial report of the Olympic Committee during the period from January 1, 2022 until June 30, 2022. He also reviewed the financial and technical report for the participation of the third Gulf Games hosted by Kuwait, during which the Olympic Committee achieved 64 colored medals, including 20 gold, 23 silver and 21 bronze. He also reviewed the upcoming participation of Olympic Committee in the fifth edition of the Islamic Solidarity Games, which will be held in Turkey. The Board of Directors reviewed the plan developed by the General Secretariat to participate in the Paris 2024 Olympics. The board then approved the new organizational structure of the Olympic Committee and reviewed a series of agreements that the committee intends to conclude with a number of institutions in line with the directives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. The fourth edition of the Youth Parliamentary Culture Programme has been launched remotely and via an in-person attendance. More, 200, more than 200 participants are attending the forum, which features lectures on the legislative branch of government in Bahrain, parliamentary life, plenary sessions and committees work. The Council of Representatives Speaker, Fawzi Abed Abdullah Zainal, noted the steady institutional development led by His Majesty the King. She praised constructive cooperation between the legislative branch and the government led by his Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She underscored the importance of fostering parliamentary culture, bolstering community awareness and empowering voters, which will impact positively on elections. She stressed keenness on supporting youth programs as top priorities, quoting His Majesty the King's keynote speeches, which stressed the importance of providing more opportunities for youngsters to contribute to national development. Labour Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan also praised programs aimed at empowering Bahraini youth and enabling them to contribute to building the future of their country and achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King, paying tribute to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his support. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa held a meeting for the Ashura season. The meeting was attended by the Chairman of the Jafari Endowments Council, Yusuf bin Salah al Salah, members of the Hussainiya Processions Authority, and heads of Ma'atims and the Governorates. The meeting that was held to promote community partnership was also attended by the Chief of Public Security and Governors. The Minister of Interior delivered a speech on the occasion. يطيب لي في مستهل كلمتي أن أعبر عن خالص الاعتزاز وخالص التقدير لما يحظى به موسم عاشوراء من رعاية ملكية سامية من قبل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه في إطار حرص واهتمام جلالته بأن تبقى عاشوراء مرجعا انسانيا في ممارسه الحريات الدينيه واحترام التعدديه المذهبيه مثمنا الدعم الذي توليه الحكومه الموقره بقياده صاحب السمو الملكي الامير سلمان بن حمد ال خليفه ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله وتوجيهات سموه الكريمه بالعمل على توفير الاجواء الامنه وتيسير كافة الاحتياجات والمتطلبات بما يسهم في إنجاح موسم عاشوراء إن عقد مثل هذا اللقاء سنويا يأتي امتدادا للنهج الحكيم الذي أرساه سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعا كما أني أجدها مناسبة لممارسة وتعزيز مبدأ الشراكة المجتمعية التي اختطتها وزارة الداخلية الحضور الكريم خلال العام الماضي واجهنا الجائحة الصحية وكان ذلك تحديا واقعيا ومؤثرا ومع ذلك استطعنا تنظيم شعار آشورة في ظل ظروف صحية غير عادية وأجدها فرصة للإشادة بما قدمتوه من تعاون 
والتزام بالضوابط الصحية فشكرا لكم جميعا واليوم فإنني أؤكد على أهمية التعاون والتنسيق بين كافة الوزارات والمؤسسات المعنية من خلال توفير الاحتياجات والخدمات اللازمة التي تكفى الإجراء الموسم بالشكل الذي يتفق مع مناسبة عاشورة وبما يحفظ الصحة والسلام العام مشيدا بحالة الوعي المجتمعي والمسؤولية الوطنية لدى رؤساء ومسؤولية المآتم وهيئة المواكب الحسينية وما يبدونه من التزام وتعاون بناء للخروج بموسم عاشوراء بشكل متحضر ويأتي هذا في إطار الشراكة المجتمعية ودورها في المجتمع مؤكدا على أهمية الحفاظ على ما تقتضيه هذه المناسبة والالتزام بمتطلبات الخطاب الديني المسؤول الحضور الكريم لعاشوراء البحرين خصوصية متحضرة تتجلى فيها المعاني الإنسانية والنسيج الاجتماعي المتماسك والمتعايش وما تتضمنه من قيم خيرة ومبادئ قويمة وحفاظا على روحانية هذه المناسبة فإنه لا يجوز أن تطغى الحالة المادية على الحالة الروحانية والترويج لها باستخدام غطاء السياحة الدينية من خلال الدعوة إلى استقبال حملات دينية من خارج البلاد للمشاركة في مواكب العزاء حيث يتنافى ذلك مع الخصوصية البحرينية في إحياء المناسبة وطابعها المميز ويبقى إحياء مناسبة عاشوراء في البحرين للمواطنين والمقيمين ولن نستقبل حملات من الخارج حفاظا على أمن وسلامة المعزين وحسن إدارة وتنظيم المناسبة وعلى كل حال فإن وجهات العزاء في المنطقة معروفة وفي الختام أتوجه لكم بالشكر على حضوركم وتلبية الدعوة معربا عن تمنيات الجميع للتوفيق والنجاح For their part, the heads of Matems expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his cooperation and keenness to provide all the necessary facilities for the success of the Ashura season, noting the role of governors in providing the necessary needs along with continuous follow-up and coordination. They also stressed the support for moderate religious discourse and the rejection of sectarianism within the framework of strengthening the bonds of brotherhood and respect among the Bahraini people. During the annual meeting with the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the heads of Matams and members of the Husseini Processions Authority expressed appreciation to the Ministry of Interior for providing a secure environment to mark the importance of the Ashura season. They valued the affirmation of the Minister of Interior in his speech on the significance of religious freedom and responsible religious speech. من خلال ما لمست من كلمة معالي وزير الداخلية الله يحفظه أنه During the speech of the Minister of Interior, he tried to focus on all the points regarding stability of the ritual and its peaceful completion, as we are used to through commitment to many things, and we in Bahrain are always used to preserving this ritual, which is supported by the wise leadership, and I wish the occasion. to be successful. Under the leadership of His Majesty the King, we are blessed with pluralism and openness on religions and sects in Bahrain. And this is what was conveyed by the Minister of Interior. I thank His Majesty the King for his support which is valued by citizens and residents. The meeting asserted the special characteristics of Ashura in Bahrain with its civilized approach and not exploiting the occasion to promote religious tourism to protect the season's distinguished nature. We are happy that we consider ourselves as a community in the 
we are happy to consider ourselves partners in the security of this nation, not only during our Sura season, but throughout the year. It is an opportunity to express thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for providing facilities for success of Ashura season. I also thank His Majesty the King's government led by His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Bahrain's Ashura is a high-profile occasion in which all concerned parties are dedicated to its success and marking it in a civilized way to protect its distinguished Bahraini character. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayda Zayani, opened the third Consumer Protection Centre. The centre aims to enhance government services provided by the Directorate of Consumer Protection to citizens and residents to achieve customer satisfaction through facilitating business and easily benefiting from consumer protection management services. The Minister stressed the importance of establishing the centre and noted that it seeks to achieve the strategic objectives set in its national executive plan and government work programmes to ensure an efficient implementation with the high standards. The center offers centers for services for people with special needs and the possibility of communication in several languages. The aim of having the center is to serve the biggest amount of uh, Bahraini citizens and non-citizens in Bahrain and to have a convenient place for them to come and support them and listen to their, uh, to their complaints. Uh, we have uh, an amount of employees that are uh, talented and uh, well trained to accept all sorts of complaints in the center. We train them to speak different languages. We train them to have the sign language in the center. We train them to deal with disabilities, uh, different types of disabilities and the, the elderly. We also provide uh, subsidized flour in our center and uh, the applications of uh, discounts and sale and promotions. Our main uh, objectives of the center is to provide uh, services directly to the consumer and to the business sector. As for my section, as uh, related to the promotion and sales section, we provide uh, the services to the business sector and they are welcome uh, to approach us here for any assistance and inquiries. And to speak more about the center's opening, we have with us the Senior Consumer Protection Specialist, Mr. Shafi al -Blushi. Hello, Mr. Shafi, can you tell us more about the services provided by the Consumer Protection Center? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, with regards to the Consumer Protection Center at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, it includes many of the services received by the beneficiaries of the Consumer Protection Directorate um, the most important of which are the flower subsidiary service provided to bakeries, um, the service of receiving consumer complaints from citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the service of issuing licenses for promotions and discount campaigns. Of course, these services will be provided through the center as smart and innovative services within a friendly and ideal work environment. And can you elaborate on the most important initiatives that have been activated at the Consumer Protection Center and their most important objectives? Well, the opening of the Consumer Protection Center at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce has many initiatives. The most important of which is that the Consumer Protection Center has the potential to receive people of determination as well as people who communicate using the sign language. Um, the, the other initiative is the initiative of the possibility of the center to deal in several languages, um, the most important of which are uh, Arabic, English, Hindi, Urdu, Turkish, and Persian. Uh, and the goal is to reach the largest segments of the Bahraini society, citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain. It should be noted that the establishment of the center and the activation of the initiatives is the ministry's keenness to achieve the strategic objectives set out in its national executive plan and the government action plan for the Ministry of Industry and Commerce. Thank you very much, Senior Consumer Protection Specialist Mr. Shafi al Thank you for joining us. 
The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, delivered a speech during a virtual seminar that was organized by Emirate Center for Strategic Studies and Research in cooperation with the European Community to Combat Extremism and Terrorism under the title The Iranian Role in the Arabian Gulf Region, Its Background, Risks, and Future. The, the chairman of Dirasat Board of Trustees affirmed that Iran still refuses to coexist with its regional surroundings according to the rules of international law that call to respect the sovereignty and independence of countries and not to interfere in their affairs. He added that targeting oil establishments of Aramco and some vital establishments in Saudi Arabia are indicators of the Iranian policy towards the Arab Gulf countries which do not respect good neighborliness and endanger the security of the region. He noted that all Iran's provided initiatives have only one content on the interference in the affairs of countries of the region and highlighted Iran's policy of ambiguity regarding its nuclear programs through stirring up crisis with the officials of the Atomic Energy, Energy Organization, which proves the Arab Gulf region's fears about that program and its effects on the power balance and its effects on the environment as a result of radioactive leaks through Iranian nuclear reactors. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed warned from the Iranian threats through taking advantage of regional crisis not only threatening the, Arab the Arabian Gulf safety, but also that of the region region and the world. And Saudi Arabia's Crown Princess Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud held talks with Greece's Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis during an official visit to the country. Agreements in the field of investment, science, technology, and the military were signed between both countries, as well as memoranda of cooperation regarding the military and economic fields. The Crown Prince is visiting Greece and will discuss bilateral relations and ways to enhance them in various fields with its leader. He will also discuss issues of common interest.